Hello everyone! Today I'm going to be doing my first ever Get Ready With Me video and that is for my homecoming look. Last year I filmed my homecoming look. It was really bad though because I realized afterwards that there was like a smudge on the camera so it didn't really turn out that great. But I thought I'd just film me getting ready for homecoming. I mean, my homecoming is tonight. This video, I already have a video up for today essentially. It's the 26th of September so I don't know when this will be up but hopefully soon. Basically, I just pinned back some of my hair. My hair isn't done by any means. I just wanted to get my hair out of my face so that I could do my makeup first. It's 1 o'clock and I basically woke up at like 7 o'clock this morning, laid around, and I went on, I ran 10K. I ran a 10K, which is 6.2 miles, just for fun because next weekend I am running an official like 10K. I'm doing half of a half marathon with my dad, like we're doing a relay. And so I was like, I actually probably should go out and try to run 6 miles, so I did. Basically I did that and it took me like an hour, then I showered and my hair is basically dry and I had just washed my face with this Neutrogena Fresh Foaming Cleanser um, this morning before I went on my run and then I just took a shower and didn't wash my face because it would be too much so I just like use water. So basically this is what I used to use to start my face, just wash your face like you normally would. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to be taking the Clinique Perfectly Real Makeup Foundation that I talked about in my Clinique haul and you're just going to dab that on to your face as your base foundation. If I look, I'm not going to be looking like directly in the camera because I don't have a viewfinder, so it's all probably going to be above the camera. Sorry, because the camera's like directly in front of my mirror. And I just use my fingers to blend it. I find that to be the most effective way. Blend it down on your neck just so you get even coverage. You don't want to have like a. I'm not tan really at all. I don't fake tan or anything. Like, I know people go get spray tans, and oh my gosh, you should have seen my school yesterday. It was like fake tan central. It was awful. Like, everyone always just looks so orange and gross. And I'm like, guys, it is one dance. Like, I don't feel like you need to tan. Like, I don't care if you do because some of them look decent, but others you're just like, why did you waste money on that? Okay, so we're just going to do that, and I'm just going to take a little bit more of the foundation just where I think I need it. Because I don't own really any good concealer, so there's that. Hopefully there is enough time to do this video. I've never done a Get Ready With Me video. I've always wanted to, but I, like, I don't know what to film. Anyway, so now that we did that foundation as our base, you're just going to take... I just take my Alme Smart Shade... Smart Balance Pressed Powder, and it is in the shade 10 Light, and I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush from Feather Stroke and just swirl it around there. I probably should put on a different shirt because I'm going to be doing my hair. One second. And that's all we're gonna do for powder for right now anyway. Um, I, I don't really do, this is kind of like a lighter homecoming look. I don't like full on heavy makeup for me personally, but you know, whatever floats your boat, whatever makes it work for you. I really like focusing on the eyes. Eye makeup is more my thing than like face makeup or contouring. Like, I just don't know how to contour and I don't really feel like it's necessary for me personally, so I don't. Next we're gonna be taking a new product that I've never used before. And it is the NYX eyeshadow base and it's just this white base because I was going to go get the color tattoo in white but I couldn't find it at Target for some reason and I was in a rush because I just got this today so I just got this NYX thing. Hopefully it works out well. And again it's just in the shade 1 I think. So yeah I'm just going to take a little bit on my ring finger and you're just going to apply it to your eyelid as a base color or base for your eyelid. Okay, so that is just like a rough like white base that I'm going to use for the rest of my eye look because my dress is black as you will see later on in the video and so I want to do a purplish black little eye look I guess. I'm going to be using two different makeup palettes basically for my eye look and the first one is my Handy Dandy Naked 2 Urban Decay palette which I've used basically in every single makeup tutorial I've made and then my second palette I guess I'm using is my Clinique just quad that I showed again in my Clinique haul. So there's that. 
And what I'm going to be doing, I don't actually know because I haven't thought about it. Um, I just know I wanted purple. So, so first I'm just going to be taking the Naked Tube Shade Booty Call right there. And I'm going to just be taking this big fluffy brush and just applying that light, like white color basically on my eyelid to again just set the base as a base again. Basically, my homecoming plans are, I'm going to my friend Liz's house, and we're going to be doing uh, photos at her house, just because we have three different schools doing homecoming on the same night, which is going to end terribly, uh, and I did, we just all knew that the restaurants would be crazy, and I don't like waiting and then paying ridiculous amounts for my food, so we're just going to eat at Liz's house, which is awesome, and then we're doing photos at her house too, just because, honestly, in my opinion, like, photos... Like, it's nice to have a nice pretty background, but at the same time, like, you're driving somewhere to take pictures of yourself, like, your background doesn't matter. So I'm okay with just doing it at her house. Sorry, I'm, like, getting distracted. So now that we have, like, the white base done, we're going to go into with the Clinique palette. And I'm just going to be taking this little brush here. I don't know what it is, just an eyeshadow brush. And we're going to be taking this light color here. It is ticklish. And we're just going to apply it to, like, the inner portion of our lid. My lid, I guess. Inner to middle, and we're just going to... I'm just going to do it all first, and then I'm going to blend it after. And then with this flat shader brush, we're going to be taking this next color, which is the Going steady, like a purplish shade. This one was more pink. This is more violet purple. We're just going to apply that to the middle portion of my eye. And then for the inner corner, I guess, we're going to be doing, or we're going to be using this shade, which is the graphite, for like the transition kind of inner corner or outer corner. So for that I'm going to be taking, so I have so many brushes, this little kind of domed brush I guess, and we're just going to be taking graphite and very, and very carefully we're going to apply that so we don't get too much. Make a V, it's going to look really like harsh right now I guess, but once we blend it it should be fine. And if not, makeup wipes are always an option. So then to make sure we blend it first, I'm just going to be taking a blending brush and just blending it out. We're just going to take a little bit more and apply it under your eye. And then next we're going to be taking Jammin, which is the bright purple shade here, and we're just going to apply that kind of to the middle, I guess, to the eye, just to give it a little bit more of a pop of color so it's not just this plain black look. And then my last little step is I'm just going to go back in with Ticklish to just brighten it up a little bit more just to give it again a little highlight. go in with booty call again and just kind of brighten the inner corner. The next step we have, sorry if my head is getting cut off from the video, and um, we're going to be taking this Naked 2 shade Blackout, which is the black color right there, and we're just going to be taking an angled brush from Feather Stroke again and just dipping our, my brush in that just like the slightest amount and we're just going to start doing eyeliner that way because the only eyeliner I have is brown because I don't like black eye like I don't like actual black eyeliner on me but I want to line my lids definitely so what we're going to do is we start off with like mini strokes and I just start 
And then as the br brush fades out, I just kind of add more slowly. So that's my one eye. And I'm just going to take a little bit and smudge it on my under my waterline. Just like that to give it a little bit more dimension. And then we're going to do that next same, the same thing with my left eye. And then again, you're just going to take a little bit more black out and just put it under your eye. The last thing you're going to want to do is take your blending brush back and you're just going to want to take, I'm just going to take the lighter white booty call again and just put it as my tran my highlighter shade on my brow bone just to give a little bit of light to that area. I don't know if you guys can actually hear any of my music but right now we have a Spanish song on which is great. I'm in AP Spanish and like one of my favorite things about Spanish is listening to Spanish music and I found a Spanish boy band so I'm happy. Okay, the next step is mascara, and I have two different mascaras I'm going to be using for this look. The first, oh, no. I have two different mascaras I'm going to be taking for my mascara look. I'm not going to use false lashes just because, again, I don't feel like they're necessary for this. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara, which is the pink tube. It's kind of running out, though, so, eh. And then I'm going to be taking Clinique. Uh, Clinique High Impact Mascara, which I talked about again in my Clinique favorites, or Clinique haul, and I'm going to be using this first and then going in with this. I'll do my best to show you guys. I don't know how great I'll be at showing you. I'll try to zoom in, but I feel awkward doing that. Okay, so I just do like a, I just blink. That's how I do it. I just like blink, and then I'll shimmy the brush, brush up. Generally, when I'm doing any kind of look for home, or just like for every day, I I have a bad problem not putting mascara on my bottom lashes just because I feel like it looks too like intense. But obviously for homecoming you want that, so I'm going to be doing that. But I'll probably just be using my Clinique, Clinique eye or Clinique mascara for that. Okay, so now that I have that first coat of mascara done, I'm going to let it like dry for a little bit, not a long time, just a few seconds, and I'm going to go in with this Clinique mascara and just do a second coat to just lift up my eyelashes a little bit more. Just take the excess of what's on your brush to do the bottom lashes so they're not too clumpy. And then you're going to take... Like so. And then the last step we're going to be doing, well, there's a few more steps to this look and then we'll be done. The first thing is, where's my eyebrows? So I'm just going to be taking this Brow Stylist Designer Eyebrow Pencil by L'Oreal and we're just going to be spooling up my brushes first. And this color, I didn't pay attention when I got this brush, and this color is too blonde for my eyebrows. Cause my, I have somewhat blonde hair, but for the most part it's brown, and yeah, this blonde does not really work, so I actually use a color from the Naked 2 palette, which is way too brown for my eyes, but it honestly, or eyebrows, but it works, so I'm going to be doing that. I'm going to be taking, what is it called, Tees, which is this brown color here, and just applying that sparsely to my eyebrows. Okay, and then you're just going to fully out what you did already, just so the product evenly goes through your eyebrows. The next thing I'll be doing is taking my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder and just using that big fluffy brush again to go over it and make my face matte. Because it's kind of hot in here right now and I don't want to sweat all my makeup off. So I just take that in my big fluffy brush and then I'm just going to apply it under my eyes and my nose. My T-zone basically. I'm going to be doing my lips now and I have two products I want to use, both from Clinique. The first one being this matte plum lipstick that I showed in the haul, and the second one also being the thing I showed in the haul, which is the chubby stick, which I'm going to use more of than the lipstick, um, just because this is kind of still pink, too pink for like the look I'm going for, but I'm just going to lightly do use the lipstick first. So now I'm going to be taking a chubby stick and really just filling it in and making it look less violet. Sorry, I'm really bad at looking at the camera. 
there we go. That is a finished face look. My eye makeup, everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this little portion of the video.